Hello everyone, and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing the basics of um, the basics of infusion. So I wasn't able to get this out over the weekend, but I have it out now. And as you'll see, I have a, a full infusion altar set up here with every type of essentia that I need. Uh, and to you for this demonstration, I'm going to be doing the recipe for charged thomium wand caps, and I'll be using my agrarian skies world for it. So, first thing you want to know about your infusion is the components to it. So let's go over to our thomian thing here, and you'll see that to make the normal thomian cap, all you need are some nuggets, which you just get by crafting, uh, putting thomium into a crafting bench. Simple as that. And then you need three salus mundus, which are made from your balanced shards, which are shards in a crucible with every aspect except for the aspect of the shard. And then you'll also need 12 Potentia and 6 Aurum. So I was lucky enough to have, uh, what was it, 16 pieces of, uh, of what's it called, uh, Ethereal Essence, along with, uh, uh, quite a bit of other stuff. Let's see, so I needed what, it was 6 and 12, so yeah, I've got more than enough here. Now, before we get this started, I'm going to want to point out that uh, to make your infusion as stable as possible, which if you'll notice in your Thalmanomicon, go over to it and it has instability rating, moderate. Instability means some bad stuff can happen. You can permanently lose some of the ingredients, so some of this uh, Salus Mundus could just get completely obliterated. You could create flux, with it, which is a super dangerous, uh, volatile chemical. <laughs> they can make you sick. It can create warp, which is a mechanic we'll get into later, and it can also taint nearby nodes. So you don't want to do that. Fortunately, we don't have any nodes nearby that could taint. Uh, the only node we have is a pure node in the middle of our silver wood tree, and pure nodes repel taint and flux so and that is fine uh, but what but uh, we still probably don't want to let it be unstable that's that's usually not a good thing right plus there's always the uh, chance that we could lose the Salus Mundus and we would have to waste resources to replace it and all that terrible terrible stuff so to stabilize an infusion altar, you have a few options. You have mob heads, which is my personal favorite. So if I go over here, I go out to, I go like this, and then, oh, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Here we go. You'll go like that. You'll go like that. And essentially what you want to build is a symmetrical square around your middle point. I like to leave uh, ways that I can walk into the middle if I need to. So that's why I'm not putting them like here. That would definitely increase the stability, but because we only have a two block space, I can't jump over them, so I would be stuck in the middle here. And I could just put one on all but one side, but that would be uh, unsymmetrical, which would result in instability. So that's why we're doing it like this. Now, all mob heads will work for this, including the headcrumbs mod mob heads, uh, as I tested in my uh, free play world. So you can just go like that. Now, in terms of uh, stability, it doesn't matter which mob head you have. So, for example, if I just randomly put a skeleton head in here, that still counts towards stability. It's still symmetrical to this one. It would still be symmetrical to this one. And it would still be symmetrical to that one. 
I just, for aesthetic purposes, prefer to keep it uniform. But that's just personal taste. Now, there is a device in this mod pack, uh, Agrarian Skies specifically, that will let you, let's see here, maybe let's do something interesting, shall we? That will let you test for stability. Uh, it is, I believe, part of the, part of the Thomic Horizons mod pack, I think. Let's see, where, which tab would it be in? I don't, it could be an auto Meiji actually. It might be an auto Meiji. I just don't know where it is, that's why I haven't gotten it yet. But all you have to do with the stability checker is right click onto the, uh, the infusion matrix uh, in the middle of your altar, and it will tell you whether or not you are stable. So let's go here like this. That one's a bit on an angle. Oh, come on. Over here then. There we go. So the more you have, the more stable it is. And I believe it goes out three blocks, five blocks underneath the matrix, three blocks above the matrix. Let's see here. So this is your centerpiece. This is the center around which all the symmetry is calculated. This block right here. Now up and down symmetry doesn't count. So for example, I don't need a mirror of that upside down above the matrix. All that matters is uh, horizontally what's symmetrical. Vertical symmet symmetry doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, so I believe it's 13 blocks out in any direction, 13 block radius, then 3 blocks up, 5 blocks down, which is why I have that little middle floor here, is was for the sole intent of building out the symmetry for the infusion altar, the stability, without it being an eyesore. Uh, now, you do have other options for building stability, the most common of which is under the magic tallow, and it is the tallow candle. So let's see, we can make a few of these. Let's go for it, shall we? Perfect timing, too. Okay. So I'm going to need four rotten flesh. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to need quite a bit of Precantatio, which I believe I have. I do indeed. Oh, just like that. Thank you. All right, so now I just need a piece of string, which I probably should have gotten before. Do do. Okay. And I believe you can make these in a crafting bench. It doesn't have to be in the arcane workbench. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't require any aspects, so you can make it in any crafting bench. Now I have six, I'm only going to use four. Because six can't be used very symmetrically. Oh. That's strange. This one should be here. And so should this one. 
Huh. Are we still good on uh, light levels? Looks like. Okay. So there we go. So you can also use these candles. Uh, I think there are other items. Let's check the article on infusion. Artifice. Uh, various means, uh, symmetrical as possible. Take careful note in where you place pedestals and make sure they are balanced with other pe pedestals on the opposite side of the altar. Uh, paraphernalia around the altar in symmetrical, symmetrical formations. Okay, so candles, crystals, skulls, etc. etc. So you can also use crystals. Now what it means by that is if I would go over to my uh, little thing in here. Let's make a few of these, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's overkill, but you know, going for style. By the way, all the stuff I have in my inventory is for a project I'm going to be doing right after this and recording in recording Agrarian Skies 2. So. Alright. Eight crystals. Boom. 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 And there we go. Perfectly symmetrical. And the nice thing about this is if you build it out the way I am, uh, like you go continually outward, you're going to get more and more stability per shell. Uh, so like this shell, first shell, just a little bit. These normal zombie heads. Second shell, uh, it's got more stability because there are more heads. And then the last shell, if it were complete, it would be even better. So you kind of got like this multiplication factor. So you can get, like, say something has minor instability, this inner shell might be enough to completely negate the instability. But say you have something with, uh, what is above minor? I think moderate is above minor. You might need one or two more shells to be complete, and then so on and so forth. I think I've managed to get uh, the dangerous instabilities completely negated with as little as five shells. So that would only be two more past this one. So yeah, it's a good use for all your mob heads, uh, a good reason to stockpile them. Uh, they're probably the cheapest way to do this, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I mean these crystals are pretty cheap let's be honest all I have to do is keep pumping my glacial precipitator into a auto hammer and we're good <laughs> anyway so that's that and yeah now that we have some uh, stability let's fire this guy up so he's gonna take out the potentia from this jar here suck it right up and then he's going to take the orm from that jar over there, just like that. Okay, so the stability isn't completely countered. We're still having lightning shows, but I believe we got the final product. A charged thomium cap, just like that. Boom. Perfect. So that is that. Uh, that's the basics of infusion. Uh, I'll address a bit more of the other stuff probably in a later video using a test world. Uh, but where I'll probably get into, I'll touch more on stuff like uh, the effects that instability can have. Because uh, I think that's probably an important thing to cover, dedicate a whole video to. So. Look forward to that eventually. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll have that set up. 
It'll probably be in a creative world just so we can test it super easy. But uh, yeah. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. Hope you learned something. Hope it helps. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.